Hey, we're gonna show you how we uh, grow milkweed and attract monarchs and then raise monarchs in our home. It's a fun activity, it's really educational and it's actually helping the monarchs out. Only about five or 10% of monarch eggs make it to adulthood. So by taking them inside and raising them in a little cage, you're having fun, but you're also uh, helping the monarch and learning something while you're at it. This is our little patch of milkweed. Here, a one plant grew up a few years ago and it spread really quickly. Milkweed plants love hot and uh, sometimes dry conditions. Like most perennials, once they are rooted in, they don't need anything. No fertilizer, no water. We don't do anything to it and it keeps coming back bigger every year. Okay, we're gonna take a closer look and see if we can find some eggs. All right, taking a closer look at the plant, there was just a mother monarch flying by. And uh, if you look under the leaves where they were hanging out, sometimes you can find a little egg and there's one right there. So eggs will be a pale yellow or white, usually along the edge of the underside of the leaf. They're slightly pointed. Um, and they, on this plant, they're getting eaten at nighttime by either spiders or ants, earwigs. Uh, even other caterpillars will accidentally eat them. So we've been taking them inside. You can just break off the whole leaf. And then over here, that might be one right there. Now, we got the leaves and then we put some water in, the, in a little cat food can. And then we put the leaf in it. Then we put the leaf in it so the leaf can stay alive. We put the lid back on, put the top of it. It doesn't drown in there. We put the eggs in the habitat and in like a few weeks we, they're going to hatch. We use a plastic aquarium like this one. It's nice and light, it can open, it's got holes for breathability. And we just add a few sticks along with the leaves to make a little habitat. Okay, I think I have a monarch caterpillar here, but it is so small, I can't tell if it has those yellow and black and white stripes. So we'll see when this guy grows, if he starts to eat, uh, if it's a monarch. Hey, this is day three. And you can see the stripes on this monarch caterpillar and a little hole that he's munched right there. After a few days, um, it makes a J-hang then shreds its skin and turns into a light colored chrysalis, just like that one, and then a dark colored chrysalis, a little bit darker green like that one, and then it turns into a black chrysalis, and then that's when you know it is gonna hatch soon and turn into a butterfly and fly away. So the monarch, like, they're special species, and, and they're and have bright colors, but they might not be poisonous. You know, you might think they're poisonous.